applies. It would be very easy indeed to spend the whole national product of Finland and much more only to different environmental protection measures. And actually even more dramatic is the fact that it is also theoretically possible to Ex, ex, uh, to spend the whole Finnish national product into environmental protection programs without getting any benefit from for the environment, and and, uh, and I'm saying this because the, because in many in in our most important environmental problems, the the most serious single issue uh, is, is now the uh, excessive commercialization of the solutions which are being offered to every possible possible problem and this is this is now perhaps the most serious in the field of or in relation to the issue of global warming how to prevent a climate catastrophe because actually um, there are numerous ways of solving this problem. It doesn't have to cause that in practice anything because many of the ways of solving it uh, would save money instead of increasing the costs of doing different things in, in the world. But nobody is interesting in, interested in, in solutions that do not cost anything. All the, um, or that might, might actually save people money. Uh, and the problem is that only the very expensive solutions are interested, interesting for the big companies. And that's why all the attention, there is a, uh, the more expensive a certain solution to, to global warming is, the more attention it, it currently receives. And this is, uh, this is very, getting very blatant now because um, let's say when we are talking about alternative forms of energy, most of the attention has been in hydrogen technology and the stuff like that. Which is the most expensive possible way of, of replacing the, the the oil as 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 fuel in the cars and lorries. And what comes to taking some carbon out of the atmosphere, there. The governments and companies are only interested in extremely dangerous and extremely expensive methods of doing it, like, like pumping it back into the oil wells and, and natural gas wells, and, or capturing the, the carbon dioxide in the, in the plant which is emitting it, and then, then chemically or somehow converting it to a something totally different in the plant so that it can be stored, then transport, transport it to some other place and stored there. This is absurd. It doesn't make any sense. There are ways of doing, absorbing the carbon from the atmosphere in a very, very simple and cheap ways. But the problem is that these, these other methods, they are too cheap. They don't cost enough and, and they can be done by anybody with no, no high tech. Because only only the high tech solutions that can be monopolized or which can be made so so complex that they can only be produced by a number of companies which can, can then, then sell them with a very high profit margin. Only those solutions are, are interesting solutions to the to the problem. And uh, this is very serious issue because we all might <laughs> might die because of this <laughs> because things are getting seriously out of hand now. Uh, for example, the, the melting of the Greenland glacier has increased 250% in two years. And during the last three years, uh, the whole permafrost area in, in West Siberia has started to melt. And uh, st still we are only being offered this, uh, for example, nuclear power as a solution to, to these issues. And uh, this is one of the areas in which the economic democracy um, and the power struggles related to it are, are very closely related to, 
to ecological democracy and what will happen to, to our global environment. I, I'm not saying more because, because we are running out of time. <laughs>